And we're looking at a new powerhouse from Kickstarter. It just launched like a few days ago or something like that. It already got 556 baggers, sorry, 557 baggers. We have 27 days left to go to back this project. Now, this is a powerhouse of, I don't know what magnitude we're going to talk about, just to do with the image. It's a fully fledged operating system, Linux in the background, Raspberry Pi uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a hardware. We've got a full keyboard, we've got buttons, we've got all those, we've got a beautiful design, we've got some power that you're going to talk about. You know, this is the ultimate Flipper Zero gadget, and it just costs a bit more than a Flipper Zero. And I just want to quickly talk about it. If you want to back this project, you should probably go ahead and do it soon. Because really soon, all the devices are going to be bought and there's going to be no more left. I'm also going to talk about that later in the video. Let's first of all talk about what this actually is. This is a pocket-sized Linux pen testing gadget. It is uh, looking like a small handheld, like the Super Mario console or Donkey Kong console from the old days. And we're looking at something with, you know, a touch screen, you know, with a color display. It's rather big, actually. And the design is beautiful with a full keyboard. It's going to be, of course, only for English or normal uh, keyboard, just like that. But just looking at it, I think it's going to be perfect for small handheld stuff. Now, what is this actually? You know, it's, 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 it's a compact, versatile device engineered for side feature experts and technology enthusiasts, boasting a playful gadget-like design. Okay, so this is actually a very interesting thing. We're going to look at key features like infrared. We're going to have GPIO pen, we've got SD card. We have NFC and RFID reader. We got USB C. We also have a full keyboard and sub gigahertz, one gigahertz. Also, but I'm mentioning here the image. It also supports Bluetooth, of course. But that's probably something when I something you knew already from this image. Okay, so. What is actually different from this? We have a touchscreen and it's colors actually in 3.5 inch size. So it's going to be, you know, a pretty good size for actually typing because on the background of this, we're running a full Linux operating system. Okay. Listen again, full Linux operating system. It's going to be a beast to have. Not only is it going to be doing exactly the same as a Flavor Zero, but just with a lot more power, it's going to be a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, W. Uh, in the background with Wi-Fi, uh, we're going to see, you know, a uh, support for 256 gigabytes on the SD card. And I don't know what to say, but I cannot get my hands down. So we are looking at different kind of, you know, use cases here generated with a guy opening a uh, carport, whatever it is, using, you know, sub one gigahertz. Going to use the CC1101 chip. And it supports, of course, both transmitting and receiving. And it goes from the sub gigahertz range of 300 and 228 megahertz. That's probably an okay range we will see. And I think it's going to be enough for now. Okay. We also have normal uh, key fob reading. As we see here, we're going to read a key fob, you know, using the RFID um, functionality, opening a door. We have, you know, uh, to turn off on and off the TV, we have infrared uh, directly on it. That is something we would like to do as well. And we also have the GPIO pins so we can connect whatever extensions we're going to get in the future. And of course, we have this wonderful keyboard. Wonderful keyboard, of course, with everything. Design is smooth, beautiful, good colors and buttons. You know, I, I cannot, you know, get my hands down as I talked about. 256 gigabyte expandable storage. Um, yeah. And of course, open source. So whenever someone is going to create, you know, their own customized um, firmware, we're going to tailor that, of course, and fit it for our needs. It's going to be 100% backed by the community during the ecosystem. And this is what we will probably see different kind of OSs directly created for this. And the terminal itself is going to be, you know, very interesting with a small screen and we can type into your commands directly. And the thing here is going to be so incredible. This is actually running Metasprite on it right here of the prototype. Stuff like NMAP, Metasprite, Aircrack, whatever, Hydra stuff, you know, we can do everything because we have Wi-Fi on it. We basically need to connect something 
And then we have a fully fledged Linux operating system in the background running where we can, you know, execute whatever big powerhouse of big Sigma, or I'm use that word for say, you know, uh, exploits, whatever, you know, and, and, and just, you know, it's going to be the best device, I think, on the market. I, I think this is maybe I'm sounding very un, un, enthusiastic, but I feel this is just going to be a lot and can be a lot more than we actually think. The Flipper Zero cannot compete with this in any ways. The only way Flipper Zero might compete with this is because it's community driven and it's going to have a lot of customized firmware that can do more of the same thing, more of the same thing, one of them, but this just has the potential of a real computer. This is a real computer, just handheld. It is powered by a 2000 milliamp battery and uh, for how long it can, you know, see the power, I don't know. Technical specification can be seen right here. And the housing is going to be created of ABS plastic. That is a lot harder than normal PLA plastic. We're going to see some 3D printing for uh, people. Um, the ABS is also more heat resistant and uh, harder to break. We're going to look at probably 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi with a Bluetooth. Programmable GPIO, Raspberry Pi 2, Zero W is going to be really good to know. So it's going to have a real process of real RAM, real speed, good screen size for small device, really good actually, and touchscreen with colors and what what I think like about this. Now, if you want to be a part of the early reward, you know, go ahead and check out the VIP special. You can get it for $169. It's just a bit more than a Flipper Zero, but this device is also three or four times what a future series could be. But you know, we're gonna look, look, look at different kinds of devices coming out this year. I think 2025 is a big year for hacking devices. We're looking at, you know, the Master Tech M1. Whenever it's gonna come out, we would have stuff like the Bleach Shark that we have already now in production. We have stuff like, you know, this intro. We got the OMG cable also on Kickstarter and whatnot more to come probably soon. So go ahead and check out, you know, a different kind of pledges here on the other side and pick the one you would like. Although they talk about shipping anywhere in the world. So that's probably going to be really good. Pay attention to if you're living in a place that, you know, have high import tax or fees. I am living in Denmark with a lot of import tax and fees. So that's going to, of course, create a difficulty for me to get this device. The production and the timeline is as follows already five steps ahead. We have two different prototypes from May and August last year and some marketing research already and the Kickstarter price is right here. Really soon we're going to see a production preparation in May, July that's already began now in May and then August and September we're going to see mass production and then shipping if the timeline holds and everything, whatever needs of certifications and regulations checks and so on in order to ship it abroad, you know, this is going to be the timeline we will see. So I think just to talk about it and for the outro of this video, you know, go ahead and check it out, you know, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Also, leave a comment for this video and say, hey, what's going on, you know, and consider subscribing to my channel if you want more news and follow up on the news hack and gadgets and testing and things of technology. So I really hope you have a really nice day and you enjoyed this video.